Civil aviation was regarded as the most advanced sector of Soviet industry. Tupolev, Yakovlev, Antonov, and Ilyushin were the main design bureaus that were involved in the development of civil airliners. The most accomplished engineers were employed by these teams, who over the course of the country's existence developed over 70 models of helicopters and airplanes, thereby guaranteeing the consistent operation of Aeroflot in all sectors of civil aviation. The Soviet aviation industry employed over one million individuals, which facilitated the transportation of civilian cargo and passengers. Not only were Soviet-made airplanes used domestically, but they were also supplied to numerous foreign countries, particularly within the CMEA, Council for Mutual Economic Assistance. The aircraft were solely serviced by Soviet professionals. An additional component of the aircraft was produced under international licenses, which enabled foreign professionals with specialized permission to operate and maintain Soviet-made aircraft. Countries that were in need of civil aviation technology but lacked the competence to manufacture it themselves purchased this equipment. The models that were most successful during the country's existence were those that were most reliable in operation and served international routes. It is also important to acknowledge that other types of aircraft were used on domestic routes, particularly in regions where other equipment was unable to operate due to technical issues. The Kiev Aviation Plant was responsible for the assembly of the majority of these aircraft, which were designed by the Antonov Design Bureau. A total of 1,367 AN-24 units were constructed between 1962 and 1979, with assembly happening at factories in Kiev, Irkutsk, and Ulan-Udi. This versatile turboprop aircraft was specifically engineered for short and medium-haul flights. The initial test flight in October 1959 indicated that the model was prepared for mass production, and development commenced in the early 1950s in response to a directive from the country's leadership. The first version, which was intended to accommodate 20 to 52 passengers, was subsequently modified for other uses. Multiple versions were developed for military and civil aviation applications. The AN-24 was one of the most frequently used civil aircraft in the Soviet Union, particularly for domestic routes. Immediately following World War II, the Ilyushin Design Bureau developed this passenger aircraft for short-range flights to replace obsolete aircraft that were being decommissioned after the completion of critical flight hours. The goal was to develop an aircraft that could land safely in the presence of severe malfunctions, such as engine failure. The model underwent further refinement after being assembled and evaluated in 1950. By 1953, it was in serial production, with many of them being dispatched to the Komi Har and other northern regions of the USSR. The aircraft has the capacity to accommodate 18 to 36 passengers per trip, contingent upon the modification. The IL-18 was among the first turboprop aircraft to be capable of transporting up to 122 passengers per voyage. The aircraft was developed in a record-breaking time frame, with the entire process from design to testing being completed within a year, 1957 to 1958. The aircraft, which was initially envisaged in 1945, was intended to transport up to 60 passengers over a distance of 5,000 kilometers at an average speed of 450 kilometers per hour. The initial IL-18 was prepared for a demonstration flight in 1946, despite encountering numerous technical difficulties. Stalin himself was present. The model officially entered into Aeroflot's fleet in 1959 and was so dependable that it continued to operate domestic routes until 2002, long after the Soviet Union had disbanded. The Tu-104 was the first jet-powered passenger aircraft to be produced in the Soviet Union and the world. It was the fastest commercial aircraft in the world at the time, but it was plagued by numerous technical issues that resulted in 37 crashes, rendering it the deadliest. Despite these challenges, production persisted until 1979. It was a popular aircraft in the USSR and beyond due to its sleek design, comfortable passenger interior, and reliability. The Tu-104 successfully completed its inaugural flight in July 1963. However, serial production didn't start until September 1967.
it was in service until the Soviet Union's collapse, at which point it was progressively phased out due to its extended service life. The first Soviet long-haul passenger aircraft, the IL-62, received approval for serial production in 1966. It was a cost-effective choice for Aeroflot, boasting the capacity to transport up to 195 passengers per flight. The IL-62 was the best option for both domestic and international routes due to its ability to travel vast distances without refueling. It continued to operate until 1995, surpassing the lifespan of the USSR. IL-86 was developed to compete with Boeing, Airbus, and Douglas, which are American aircraft with substantial capacities. After a successful test flight in 1980, the aircraft became operational and was capable of accommodating 360 passengers per trip, rendering it an invaluable asset to Aeroflot. The IL-86, along with other Soviet airliners, was ultimately outclassed and retired as a result of the collapse of the USSR, which rendered many enterprises unable to compete with foreign firms, despite its success. Now, which civilian aircrafts do you think are your favorites from the USSR era? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership of our channel to encourage us.